Hello, this is Ralph, the uh, sewing machine guru. Uh, we're going to um, do another segment uh, for the YouTube and on the Toyota Model 325 uh, you'll notice that we are starting to rewind the bobbin and it's very important to make sure the bobbin is filled properly. Uh, if you have the thread on there very, very loose, um, it's not going to feed properly on your, your threading. So sometimes uh, you might have to hold the thread on, towards the back side and then just put a little pressure on it. It'll wind on there a little bit smoother and tighter. As you can see, it's on there pretty, uh, pretty smooth. And it will shut off at a point here. You don't want to fill it completely. And then we'll just take and snip it. And the, the best thing with the, the thread, particularly a heavier thread, just snip it at an angle. That way when you go to thread the machine, it will uh, thread the needle easier. So the other part we're going to address here is not only the, the threading the machine, which we've done that, is that uh, on the spring, which we have a spring over here. It's called the check spring. And if you notice here, there's a little spring right here. That's called the check spring. So when you come down from your main number one guide down to the top uh, the tension unit and come around here, and you notice now you're up to this point, and then you're going to go through your take up lever. And you notice here we go up and down, you pull it. That's the check spring, and that's what keeps your tension even. Uh, some cases I have found on occasions that this spring, for whatever reason, um, gets stuck up into this part of this vinyl section. So if you run into a situation where all of a sudden it's not sewing properly, remove the cap. This cap is your end cap of the, the sewing machine with, where the hole of the screw is. Remove that there. And then check this to make sure it's not hung up like it is here. It's rare that it happens, but it, it can. I had a situation the other day uh, after uh, a thousand or so machines, and uh, the lady told me that it was having a problem. So I said, well, remove the end cap and uh, check that spring. And sure enough, she said, it's hung up here. I said, that okay, all you have to do is you just take a little screwdriver and just sort of go in here and pull up on it a little bit and pull it forward there there you go now if it looks like it's really close to the edge here then you might take a needle nose and just bend this just bend it out here ways and don't worry about breaking it if you break it we'll give you a new one uh, so just bend it out and so where it just clears here a little bit more and then uh, and then just check that again and you'll be fine. So then we'll just re re put this this cap back on and we'll be good to go. Okay, now I'm going to just take and put this back here and thread this needle. Some people use the needle threader, but on the for regular thread it works pretty good, but on the heavier thread it's a little bit tougher to use, so uh, I would just just thread it manually. And if you need be, just take a piece of paper, put it behind the needle, a white piece of paper, and you'll see that whole bingo just like that. And then you just pick up your thread once you put your bobbin in. Now your bobbin, and I did make note of the bobbin in the prior video, uh, but this time we're going to mention one other thing here as soon as I get this out of the unit here. There. Because using heavier thread, which is the, the bobbin here is, is heavier, make sure you don't get it tangled up. See, there's a little tangle, and you got to be careful, and just make sure it's not loose. Set it in there clockwise, and then bring around the opening like this, and then snap it in to that further opening here. And make sure your thread is trailing like like so and then put it into this position here and there's a notch there right above here and make sure it's in the position. Now, 
just leave it out here like this and then we're going to pick up the thread turn the hand wheel manually go all the way down and then pull when the needle passes up through the past the needle plate then pull up on the thread here and if it doesn't come up jiggle that hand wheel a little back and forth a little bit and up comes the thread now this is where sometimes it gets a little tricky normally you'd take both threads and trail it towards the back but this time you might take and pull this thread, the bottom thread, by itself to make sure it's loose. Because say all of a sudden it's tight, that means it's made another loop down here. And it does happen on occasions. So just make sure you put it in there. And if you have the take-up arm at its highest point, uh, it would be easier. So well, let's pick that up again. Like so. Okay, and then I just pull that a little bit and it's loose and then you're fine. And, and make sure you, you take up the slack, like we mentioned before in, in our last video. And uh, then let me grab some fabric here. This is two pieces of vinyl. And if you notice on some of the videos, uh, the past videos, the, the, uh, the noise was quite loud because our speaker is quite uh, sensitive. So when I dropped down the pressure foot, it really sounded pretty loud when I, uh, when I listened to the recording. So we just set that back in the sewing position. Okay, pick that up. And then we raise that up and you see that, see that thread there? And the reason that is like that is because, guess what? What a lot of people have done is that they forgot to run the thread through the tension unit with the pressure foot up. So we want to make sure, and we hold this here and push that in there, pull it hard, firmly hard. It's very important you generally hear it snap in there. Because if it doesn't snap into this tension unit, this is what you're going to get. So let's take and cut that. Let's re-thread the machine. Sometimes you can sort of give it a little water or the way they call it, spit. <laughs> okay, now let's take and cut some of this excess thread and let's see what we got now. Voila! Okay, much better stitch. Now, in this case, this machine I haven't uh, set uh, completely. Uh, I haven't set it up completely for the maximum tension. And this is what I go through with, with each machine. Is that I take and, and set this down here. And I'm going to, might as well show you just in case that it ever happens to where you need to. And we're going to go off to the side here, and this is how you, you really don't have to do this, but this is what I do to make the adjustment on the, what they call the tension inside wheel, which is right over here. And so, that snaps off there, and here is the little wheel. I get this lovely tablecloth here. And there's the wheel right in here. Now I'm putting more tension on here because of the heavier thread. And there we go. And it generally I, I put one full turn, which is sufficient, and then I snap that back in here. And put this back on. I don't tighten that one up until I get the other one done. Okay. There we go. Now one other thing I, I do is uh, I adjust the, the tension and then I adjust the needle bar, which is right in here past the light here, this is the needle shaft. And this is one thing I do as I make this adjustment. It gives you one more sixteenth of an inch in height. 
a little trade secret that on some machines I can do it and not all machines that is capable of doing this and still have it sold properly and I line up the feed dogs and I'm going to do it one more time to get it straighter You gotta move it around a little bit. Make sure you don't have to move it there. So now it's lined up with the feed dogs. Okay, so that gives us uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, we got this all done. And then we put the cap back on. Where's that little screw? Alright, here we go. Now let's take and set this back here and I'm going to re-thread it machine. Sometimes you get into some pretty heavy stuff. You'll get into four or five or six layers of vinyl or lightweight leather or marine vinyl. And particularly marine vinyl, you, you have to use a size 18 leather needle. And now you will notice even the difference of the stitch here. Because I what I did is I tightened it up immensely. Okay, so that was when it wasn't in here properly. And then this here was before I really adjusted the uh, top tension, another full turn inside. This here is just the, the, the primary one here. Now if you get into a lot of multiple stuff, like let's say we're going to go, there's one, two, three, four, there's six. There's six layers only. Alright, let's see. And you start with the fabric, needle in the fabric. See that one there just needs to be tightened up even more. And this is when you will take your top thread guide and wrap it around here once, one more time, two times, which we're going to have a total of three. Alright, see? Came out perfect. Voila. This is somewhat like uh, on the commercial machines. They have uh, actually uh, a thread guide in the front. On a commercial machine, they have three different holes, and each hole that goes through, then it makes the, the tension even tighter. Uh, so this is primarily be the same principle: just wrap it around there three times, and then you'll get tremendous uh, the tightness for the top. And that's where you need it when you're really dealing with some uh, thicker stuff and you come out with a perfect stitch. Okay, that's all for this segment, and uh, we will see you all later. Have a great day.